Well, we've heard from from some organizations and some people within the city as well is that they still feel as though there are more questions to be answered um, than answers that have been provided. And they're a bit concerned. I mean, the enthusiasm is there and the spirit is there and people want to do the right thing. But there are real issues about what's going to happen in, in, in two days' time when people begin to, to step off those planes. I think, yes. I mean, because there is every question isn't answered or all the questions aren't answered. Um, but I think the biggest question people have at the moment is to do with timing. Because I think if you know that something is happening on a given date, you can sort of understand there's a deadline. Human beings are the way they are. And so, yes, I think that's a difficult issue because there are some issues with exit visas and this and that that are affecting even these projections for uh, the number of families that are coming. But I think, again, the, the fundamental granular question are about housing and about uh, you know health care and, and employment and thank goodness the first wave that are coming are privately sponsored and so people are looking after that uh, because that's their responsibility they've taken on willingly and with respect to the government uh, re- uh, sponsored refugees uh, the government is going to have that responsibility and they I can tell you right now we our view is more our role rather is more coordinating but I can tell you the federal government are supplying some money are uh, you know helping to fund uh, arrangements that will help with housing and employment for those refugees is there work that's being done to try and figure out how to to get people jobs I mean again getting them housing is one thing, but looking for work again in a city like ours is, is tricky at the best. But of let's times. go back. I mean, the ones that are arriving in the immediate short term are privately sponsored. So the answer would be yes, because it's our responsibility, me and Barb and the group we're part of, to get our family, the two parents, uh, a, a job. What is that? Uh, what is that like? Just not as the mayor, but as well, John no, Tory. It's, 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 it's like it would be for anybody else. I mean, you sort of scratch your head and you say, well, all right, you know, who can we call that's in a business that might be willing to take somebody on? And you know, look, we all know that while we do have unemployment here, there are also jobs in Toronto. You know, open the newspaper, open, uh, you know, the uh, Metropolis or one of the websites. There are jobs, so it's not that hard. And, and you sort of, when you have a group of 20 people, it's amazing, you know, the degree to which somebody around the table will say, I have an opportunity in the place I know or my brother does or whatever. And so I'm optimistic. And I'll say this as well. I am thrilled at the fact that compared to what we see going on elsewhere, including in the United States, you have signs popping up you might have seen and some of the listeners might have saying, refugees welcome yeah. in the Canadian flag. That's what we're about here. And that's why I'm optimistic, Matt, that while, yes, there are unanswered questions and there's a lot of sort of doubt about timing, that we're going to do this the right way and we will be, you know, largely successful.